This is my fight breakdown for Joseph Ardono versus Nicholas Axeman Walters. Uh, it's going to be a very good fight. Uh, Nicholas Walters has been out for a long time. I think he had a six, seven year layoff from boxing. Uh, you could say retirement. But he took a lot of time off from boxing uh, before he actually got back into action recently. I know he had a uh, a decision win and a knockdown win, a knockout win, I think in his last fight. Uh, this is a huge step-up fight to fight a guy like Ordono, Ordono in your third fight back. Um, I feel like his stamina is definitely going to be uh, in order. He's, he looks like he's in very good shape, like he's been training. Uh, but it's hard to kind of make up for a long period of time like that. And then he's like cl close to 40 years old. So, you know, it all depends on certain things. Uh, how he's been training, how he's been taking care of his body. Probably doesn't have a lot of damage or anything like that at this point. So, he probably has the edge on in that department, but it'll still be a struggle, you know. Ordono is a guy who's been very active. He's fought some of the top competition in the division, so that's a guy who's very tough to go against right now at this point. Um, it's not like a Lomachenko or anything like that, but Ordono, he's, if he's not on that level, you know, he's, just like a, a level just below, you know, he's very decent. Uh, has a, not, a, a lot of knockouts. Um, he's a guy who's very competitive. Has a lot of uh, has a lot of big wins too. But also, um, he's someone who's just been very active, you know. But I feel like Ordorno has a very good chance, you know, as far as in this fight. I feel like if he can really work his uh. If he can stay competing, exchanging his uh, punches, uh, combinations, uh, trying not to stand in the pocket too long, I feel like Walters will be in a uh, situation where he'll be desperate and have to throw the right hand. So Erdono is going to have to watch out for that the whole fight um, because he does have the edge as far as timing and speed. So just have to watch out for that right hand. Uh, Nicholas Walters is definitely going to have an edge in the fight as far as trying to get back to that level. He looks like he's trying to get back to the main stage very quick. Uh, to have a third fight with a guy like Ordono, that's a huge, huge task. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's definitely something that intrigues the fans. Uh, he brings a lot to the table, you know what I'm saying? But Ordono is very, very good, man. He's not an easy fighter to deal with. He's done a lot in the uh, fight game. Um, I feel like he's definitely uh, someone who's very competitive, can't be slept on, uh, not easy to deal with. Um, you know, just a lot of things that go on in certain fights like this, but he's definitely someone who's, uh, you know, he's, he's a slick fighter. But Nicholas Walters, he, he has the opportunity to kind of, hurt guys you know he has a big uh a strong left hook but i think the check left hook from uh ordorno is something that's a lot more bigger of a punch his left hook is a lot more stronger than uh nicholas walters but nicholas walters right hand is a lot more stronger than ordorno's believe it or not and he has an excellent uppercut so if nicholas walters can slip that uppercut in or that right hand He's definitely uh gonna be in the driver's seat. He can definitely do something. Uh, but Ardorno, he's a very good fighter. You know, when he get buzzed and when he's in a brawl, that's when he turns it on mostly, from what I've seen. So it's gonna be a very close fight, man. I feel like uh I would have to give it probably decision to um Ardorno, but I feel like Nicholas Walters could actually pull some off if he can land that right hand on the right spot, he can actually do something. He does have a lot of power, but I definitely have Joseph Ardorno uh, dominating in this fight. I feel like his speed and his combinations would be too much. But also, with that, uh, that check left hook is something that I feel like uh, Nicholas Walters will be there for. So, that's definitely something that I can see uh, with him, him landing. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.